Hi guys, this is Chef Bill with IV. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, a baked day corn squash ring. Well, it looks really cute on a plate, and we're going to do a julienne of edge, and we're going to saute that up. And by the time this comes out of the oven, we'll put that on a couple of plates, and we'll put the vegetables right in the middle. It looks good for a buffet or a nice plate for Thanksgiving. This is things to do and, and get ready for. All right, we're going to start with the acorn squash. One hit and washed it. Now this is a Hard baby, you need a good sharp knife. A little trick I always do if I need to put an edge back on a knife, I run it across the back of another knife. Make sure I get a good sharp edge on it. Be real careful. All right, now what I'm gonna do is take that oil. That's out of there, all right? Well, didn't want that to happen. Now you want to be careful. That's kind of what you want right there. Get the knife underneath. Get a good edge in there. Now, if you want to put a towel underneath it so it doesn't move, do that. It keeps it from moving. You know, if you have four people, all you need is four rings, all right? I got one, two, three. Ready. All right, now, take the towel to the side. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take butter here in just a minute, and we're gonna melt that, but that's for something else. So we're gonna go over that. I wanna cut, cut this out, just take a knife. Just clean it out. Then you got your rings, all right? We'll put that here. Just use the tip of your knife. Take that center out. That's not so hard, is it? Looks cute. You know, some people want to say, well, let's go this way. We can do it go this way, it doesn't matter. This all can be done the day before and it's baked that day, all right? Not a big deal, all right? Get this one out here. We're just gonna cut it out. That's ready to go, and that's ready to go. So I got four of them on there. That's nice. I'm gonna clean up my mess, because I don't like a mess. It's out of the way. And then, What we're gonna do is I'm gonna melt this butter and we're gonna mix some brown sugar with it. Oh. And I went ahead and I got a half a cup of brown sugar and about one stick of butter. And I'm gonna mix that all together and we're gonna pour that over on both sides and put that in the oven about 350, 375 and let that bake for about uh, 15, 20 minutes until it's nice and tender. And then you're gonna have something nice to go with because you'll enjoy that one. Because that's gonna be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'm gonna brush this down just a wee bit on all this. And we're gonna flip that over. Really hard to do. All right. I'm just glistening it. You can use your fingers, you don't have to be, you know, perfect. We'll take some of the sugar. Now, if you want to add a little maple syrup to it, you can. Not a big deal. Everybody got a different flavor. You see how that's coming up? That's heating up. And all we're gonna do with this baby is kinda move it all the way over. We're gonna spread that on so you get that sugar, that glistening on it. Now it's gonna wanna cook a little bit, and we know that, and stick to the pan, but that's all right. All right. 
We're gonna take that, put that in the oven, and I'm gonna put it up here. And that should take about 15, 20 minutes. Now, meanwhile at the farm, we're gonna do some Juliana veg. So what we're gonna do, Juliana veg means it's gonna be fine, fine strips. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I do it. We're gonna put some red pepper, zucchini, yellow squash, a little red onion. Good color, is great for you. Now, I'm gonna do the onion first. We're gonna use about a half an onion because we only got four of those, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead Now you see how fine that is? Nice and thin, kind of the way you want it. So we're gonna put that in there. All right, I'm gonna put that right on the pan. So all the flavor you want, all right? So I got some red onion in there, and that's gonna cook down a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna cut that in half, and what I wanna do, just be careful. I'm putting that inside out, I'm moving the knife, and I'm just gonna move that knife just like this, is gonna help flatten that out, all right? I'm taking some of the whites out. Just be careful. This is where you can get a little cut on your hand, all right? You wanna protect yourself with that. And we're gonna go ahead. Again, my hands are on a claw. I'm protecting it, my thumb's behind me. See how thin that is? That's a Julianne strip, all right? We're gonna do that, it's gonna give you gorgeous flavor and color in there, all right? See how fine that is? We're gonna do the same thing over here. Now I move my fingers out of the way because I don't want to get cut that way, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, real thin. Now that's ready to go. We're gonna sprinkle that over for all the gorgeousness that's in there. That's ready to go. Now, Another trick that I have, we have a, a device out there called a mandolin. It, works, it costs 125, 145 bucks, or you get a cheaper version, or you can spend six bucks and get something that's gonna do the Julianne for you. So you're gonna take this baby here, look at that. Does that work? I'm not cutting anything. It's easy, look at that. It's gorgeous, just like me. Look how, look how sexy that is, nice. Thin, ready to go. You don't want the whole inside, this is your color. That's your vitamins right there. All right, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? We have that in there. You can go another layer deep if you want. Now I got this, the yellow squash. Look at that. It gets really picky, it wants to jam up. Then we're gonna go. I'm banging it to get it loose. Gets it out. Is that hard? No, it's not hard, look at that. What else do you want? It's ready to go. Couple of minutes, all the problems are out of the way. So you get all that, you're ready to go. We're gonna get a pan ready, and we're gonna saute that up and season it. I'm gonna season this ahead of time with some salt and pepper. Nothing comes out of the ground salted. I don't know why, but it never comes out of the ground salted. I may add a little bit more zucchini to that because that's gonna thin down. This is the time of the year for all these veg. Use it, enjoy it. Winter's coming and you're not gonna be able to get it that's fresh, all right? So we're gonna get all that color in there. I just want a little more volume, all right? Ready to go. That's good. That's ready. All right. So we're gonna give that just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this all down so I have a clean board to work with. All right. And then we're gonna get a pan. As soon as those uh, acorn squash come out of the oven, this will be a quick saute, all of about two minutes. It goes right in there, and it's gorgeous. Thanksgiving's ready to go. All right, stick with me, and we'll be right back. All right, 
we're gonna start on that acorn squash boat. I got my pan heating up right now, and that's going. I'm gonna take out a little bit of that. Don't want it in there. And I gotta make sure that's nice and hot because that's just gonna be a quick saute. That's kind of what I want in there. Look at that. Look at all that color. That's gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. So I'm gonna take that baby. Now you don't have to do you flipping. You just want to saute it up. Turn your exhaust hood on because it's gonna be right there. This will cook up in just minutes. You know, if you want to add carrots to it, go for it. But carrots will take a little bit longer. All these vegetables here are all soft vegetables. All right, so you want to kind of get that done, get that going. Now we're going to pull that acorn out of the oven. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. It's cooked up. You've got the, I'm going to put that right there. I've got to do my chef thing and I got to wipe my edges. I can't stand an ugly plate. I got to make sure it looks gorgeous like me. Look at that. That's ready to go. Meanwhile, the salt and pepper on it. Look at that. Well, a little bit less. Fill that baby up. Does that not say the holidays? Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's cooked. It's got natural color to it. Those who like vegetables will love this. Great on a plate, one per person. And you bought a zucchini, a yellow squash, and other things. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, ready to go. So you can use the whole thing. It doesn't matter if it's overflowing. People who like vegetables are gonna go for that. All right, ready to go. Guys, that's it for you. Ready to go, wipe your plate, keep it nice and clean, and that's a great meal to go with for the holidays.